At one time, there were up to six different islands on the River Clyde. They've all been incorporated now into the river banks. The closest is still surviving is this one, near the old Erskine Ferry Terminal, which goes by the oddly sounding name of Bowden Boo. The Ordnance Survey wrote this on their maps as Bottom Bow, but it appears to come from the old Scots, for the word boo means a, a rock that's underwater, and therefore dangerous to shipping, which is a good description of the, how this island would have been at high tide. Early 17th century maps show this island standing just off the bank of the river, close to where the Erskine Ferry Terminus used to be. Later maps show that a dike was built, the attempt being to narrow the river to increase the scouring effect and to keep the river from silting up. That long thin bank or dike, clearly made of stones but now covered mainly with trees, is the structure that was built to divert the river keep it within its bounds. The result of this was that the whole area in which the island stood began to slowly silt up. There is still open water there, but there are large areas of reeds and rushes growing round it. The island was a rocky outcrop, never very large, and the old maps show that it was basically an ellipse or bow-shaped. And the first part of the word Bowden Boo may mean bow shaped. When looking up river, the dike lies on the left, and all the trees on the right hand side mark where the original bank of the River Clyde used to be. Further up river is New Shot Island. This has become famous because this is the site of a, an old graveyard for ships, some of the ships having been bomb damaged in the Second World War. The high point of the island we made out is the hawthorns that grow on it. The name Bowden Boo hasn't been entirely lost as a small nature reserve nearby carries that name. <laughs>